Hello, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Unauthored Blocks. This is episode 64, so a full stack of Unauthored Blocks episodes already, and we're not even halfway there yet. So, today's episode, we are here at my secondary industrial district where I have my mob farm up there and I've also got my um, guardian farm over there and we built or showed you this warehouse a couple of episodes ago now so we are here because I need a lot of sugarcane and I mean a lot of sugarcane because the sugarcane farm I do have at my first industrial district isn't exactly the best so this is the sugarcane farm I am talking about and as you can see it's not exactly producing much is it? We've even got one missing for whatever reason. Oh no that's why. <laughs> yeah so this sugarcane farm although it's done well we're not really getting much sugarcane because I normally don't go I don't really go AFK at this place much anymore. And we are down to about, how, what, really? Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I need to move that chest. There we go. So we've got like half a chest here full of sugar cane and about another chest here full of sugar cane, which honestly, I thought I would have had a lot more than that. I mean, these chests aren't even really that full. So, yeah, we need to do something about this. I've got everything else um, that I could possibly need, like pumpkins, for example. I think melons as well. We've got a ton of. Oh. <laughs> but, yeah, so they're filling up nicely. We've even got a load of melons in here as well. So, we need a lot of sugar cane because I use a lot of rockets. And I mean a ton of rockets. And... The gunpowder is not a problem, but the sugar cane is a big problem. So that's hopefully what we can get up to in today's episode. So let's go back to our second industrial district and see what we can get on with. Right, so we have made it to my second industrial district now where we've got our warehouse, we've got our ocean guardian farm over here <laughs> and we've also got our massive mob farm over there and one thing that i haven't noticed over here is that over there and literally i've just had a look and in this chest there is actually a buried treasure map so why don't we actually see what where it's leading us um Let's get up here and have a look. Hey, uh, where are we? We are on the top right hand. So we need to go west, I think. Let's just check my north west. We need to go this way by lots of things, I think. Let's put that on our offhand. Um, orientation for me really isn't that good. Uh, we might even need to go... Southwest even so if we go this way We should come across it soon hopefully uh, oh yeah, I've got some more rockets on me. That's good um, Hopefully we should be coming across it soon, right? Okay, awesome, right? Let's go west now. I think No, we need to go east even god I really can't orientate can I? This way, hopefully. No. South? No. North? I can't see us go north. No. East. Yeah, we need to go east. There we go. <laughs> see, I'm not completely stupid. And there's a random bee in the middle of the ocean. That's interesting. I wonder where I wonder if that's come from Shelly or not. Anyway. Let's have that. <laughs> Yay, we got a bee's head! Pollinated bee's head even. Woohoo! Right, let's go east even. We're this way, isn't it? Yep, we're coming across it, so it's over here. Uh my guess is this 
has probably already been found, but if not, then let's try and find it. We're close to it. Is it? Right here, isn't it? Should be here. So my guess is this block? No, it's close though. There it is. We weren't far off it. Yay! We got Heart of the Sea, a load of iron, an iron sword for whatever reason, some fish. I actually need some food because I'm eating raw fish at the moment. Some prismarine shards, which we don't really need, or crystals even, and a bit of TNT, so that's all good. Let's grab that. What is that just trying to attack me? Is that just a zombie? I can hear you. Let's get rid of that now. Um, interesting. Anyway, oh, we weren't far off it at all, were we? <laughs> if I was better at map reading. <laughs> but unfortunately, I'm not. I got a bee's head, though, so I'm not going to complain too much. Uh, there's even a sunken ship there as well, which I haven't even noticed. Let's see what's in here, shall we? If there's anything in here, it might have already been looted. Oh, no, clock, buried treasure map, and some paper. Oh, an empty map, and some paper. Is this going to be the same one? Yeah, it is. All right, okay, cool. So that's that. What's in here? Some coal, some carrots, some paper, a pumpkin, some poisonous potatoes, some bamboo. I didn't realize bamboo was in these chests. And a suspicious stew. So we've got something else to eat at least. If I can get up here. Uh, is there another chest around here somewhere? I can never remember. I think it's here, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So this is just going... Oh, no. Awesome. Uh, and then that. Uh, we don't really need this stuff to be fair. But we might as well take it if we can. Uh, let's just leave that stuff in there. Because we don't really need it. Come on. Let me get out, please. Swim. Yay! Awesome. So, that's been underneath me this whole time and I've not even noticed it. Let's eat this suspicious stew and see what we get though, hey. And we get weakness. That was fun, I guess. Ah, oh, we don't need that these maps anymore either, do we? No. Cool. So, now we can get on with today's episode, and I've been doing a bit of prep work since then. So we've got a whole shulker box of oak leaves, plus another chest full of oak leaves. We've got what's ever in this chest, which is just powered rails, redstone, and also some smooth stone as well. And I've also got a load of redstone in here as well, so we can grab that out as well get my spoon back <laughs> awesome so we've got everything we need to do is this a thunderstorm yes right i am definitely gonna try and get some charged creepers head some creeper heads let's try and ch chuck a load of this stuff back i could do with a shield to be fair can i make a shield quickly yes i can because i got some iron and I need some wood, which I got in one of these chests, I think. A chest somewhere, anyway. I think it's in one of these chests, actually. Uh, yeah, we've got some wood here, so we can make some... Um, a, a thingy thingy. A, a shield, because that's what we need to actually kill the charged creepers. Was that a really short thunderstorm? Where did I put that iron? I think it was in here, wasn't it? Yeah. Awesome, so let's make ourselves a shield because it's important to have a shield when you're actually going creeper hunting. And yeah, impromptive creeper hunt, I guess. Let's fly over here because we should find a little island somewhere. Here's a little island we can use. Nice, now we just need... Yeah, there's a creeper right here, awesome. Right, let's charge you. And there's nothing else near here, but we can get a zombie head, hopefully. 
Yes, zombie head. Awesome. Nice. What other heads can we get, I wonder? Ow! That creeper just blew up right in front of me. What the hell? I did not notice that was a thing, but hey-ho. Apparently it is. Uh, spider heads aren't a thing, are they? No. Zombies, there's a creeper there, and there's a creeper there. Nice. So let's charge. Oh, no. Okay. I'm going away. <laughs> I'm flying away from them, guys. <laughs> um, There's got to be a few. Oh, there's a creeper and skeleton here, though, at least. So we can get a skeleton head. Why, Why is there a zombie over there? Uh, um, oh, right. We're next to a village. That might be a reason. <laughs> that might be the reason why. Come on. Follow me, buddy. I didn't get anything this time. Damn it. Oh, well, there's always a next time. Let's try this creeper. No, he's not next to anything, though. That's the only problem. We want to try and get another creeper head if possible. I'm kind of a bit sick of getting zombie heads to be. F did I even? Yeah, I did pick it up at least. Did that creeper just charge on its own? No, it didn't. <laughs> that was a bit weird right okay so let's fly over here there's got to be two creepers next to each other somewhere yeah there is nice there's two here or is that just one go away no oh this place is a bit treacherous isn't it no right let's fly over here see what we can find there's two creepers over here good <laughs> oh, free! Damn it! Ah! No! Me! All right, so I'm at the place where we died. Hopefully, my stuff isn't all blown up although it could be possible that it is where is my stuff gone let's go to f3 and b get hitboxes up because it's so much yeah here we go here's where i died yeah we got some stuff back at least <laughs> what did we get out of that then if anything we should have got at least one head out of it for sure we should have got at least one head let's put my armor back on if i can as well let's replace that elytra some bones and stuff like that. That's the zombie head we already had. Sand? Oh, and let's get rid of you. Really, we didn't get any heads out of that. Are you sure? There was like three charged creepers blow up right in front of me. And you're saying we didn't get anything out of it. Really? Oh, that's disappointing. It must have blown up. It must have, like, got blown up, to be fair. That's kind of unfortunate. I may have to just have a look and see how I died. <laughs> just to see if anything did go on, because what I guess is that the creepers blew up one after the other. Um, But they should have died and not blow up, blown up. Interesting. I watched that clip back and I had three zombies and three charged creepers blow up right in front of me. So I think the head just went when all the other creepers blew up, to be fair, because there's nothing here. But unfortunately, that's just how it is sometimes. <laughs> so let's go back to base. And actually get on with today's episode. I do apologise about the length of the beginning of this episode. It's quite long. But every time there's a thunderstorm, I have to uh, at least try and take a chance of getting another few heads. And we got a zombie head at least, so it's not all bad. We at least got one head out of it. And we've also got a pollinated bee's head as well, so... 
Silver lining, hey! <laughs> All right, so now we can actually get on with building this sugarcane farm. And originally, I was gonna plan to build it around the outside of this mob farm, but as you can tell, if I just stand here, you get completely bombarded. Oh, we've even got <laughs> skeleton and spider attack. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? I've just even ah oh, the skeleton one. Of course it did. Yeah, as you can see, I should take the hitboxes off now. As you can see, you're just gonna get bombarded with skeletons and zombies and all sorts. So. It's probably not a good idea to do it there. So we need to find a place. I don't really want to build it close to this because um, I do have plans to actually do something around here. So I think over in this direction is probably the best bet. So yeah, let's find a place for it and start doing some things and bits and bobs and i'll be back with you guys in a minute so progress update and we have an area to build this sugarcane farm and i've put some redstone and some half slabs down this is going to be the size of the sugarcane farm so we should get quite a lot of sugarcane from this i did have to go back to my villager trading hall to get all this redstone because i didn't have enough and Talking about other silver linings, we have six Nautilla shells and a trident. I've killed about six or seven um, drowns with tridents and only got one. So they are quite hard to get. But yeah, because we're in the ocean and this place is dark, if I press F3 and B, as we can see here, we've got a drowned after me already. <laughs> This thing is just completely spawning drowns like underneath here and I've kind of been going around killing them when I can just because sometimes it can be pretty fun to kill these guys and also you never know if they're going to have a trident or a nautilus shell or something like that. So yeah it's good to have them kind of things plus we got a heart of the sea from the treasure chest we got as well. So this project is coming along pretty well, if I don't keep falling in holes, that is. Um, so we've got our base down. The next thing we need to do is place our rails. Oh, there's a bit of gold down there, actually. Grab that. Why not? So we need to place our rails down. I need to actually craft some, but let's just grab some from one of these shulk boxes here. So the rails are actually going to go... Uh, let's just show you. So the rails are actually going to go from this way like so and then they're going to be like they will like spiral around here. Oh, there's a bit of gold there as well. Around here and then come back basically. I didn't don't actually think I need this bit of redstone line over here to be quite frank with you thinking about it now. Or I could just change it over it doesn't really matter at the moment but the rails are going to go this way so we have two lines with minecarts and hoppers underneath and then we're going to have the flying machines go the opposite way to the rails the reason being is because we need to add a lot of water to this and we also need a lot of um dirt as well but i'll get onto that later on so i think for now i should probably place these rails down properly and i'll come back to you guys once i've done that so i've got the rails in now and this is what it's looking like so far it actually looks pretty cool i could do with getting rid of these blocks of redstone because this gap here is where the water is going to go so we have some probably leaves here so the water can go on top of them and then what we need is some dirt or sand so i'm going to use dirt obviously uh, sand even because i actually don't have much dirt so the dirt or the sand is going to go like that the water is going to go in this kind of trench here all the way to the back and that's how we're going to set up the farm so that the minecarts can get the items from underneath the sand like so and then basically after that it's a case of just building the flying machines and the collection system which hopefully shouldn't be too bad so let's get the sand and all the water in first and i'll be back with you guys with an update all right ladies and gentlemen so we are getting somewhere finally with this farm now i've got most of the things 
in now we've got all our leaves in we've got our water in we've got the sand in instead of dirt because sugar cane can grow on either dirt or sand and sand is what i've got more of than dirt at the moment which is why we're using it so the only thing we've got to do now really is the collection system and the flying machines and obviously put the actual sugar cane in so i've made a start on the collection system here so this is quite a basic thing really all we've got is a hopper minecart unloader leading into these chests here which i can just have hoppers going down or i'll probably have a few hoppers just so they don't interact with these ones but it shouldn't matter too much hopefully this does work the only kind of problem i might have is hopper minecarts have a problem and a annoyance when they stop for whatever reason so i might need to find a way how i can stop them when we leave the farm um which could or may or may not be a problem i'm not 100 percent sure do i have a lever somewhere uh, yeah we've got a couple of levers here so let's just demonstrate something quickly so if i power this block here that will unpower it won't it yes it does so all i really need to do is unpower this block here with the redstone torch on all of them which basically means just using a repeater so if we have something like this let's get rid of that quickly that's going to uh ah okay that's going to then go and shoot off but if we have let's say if we have a repeater here and then we have a block something like this and then we power this block um then we can power that that will switch that off and then it should carry on the redstone signal from here so if we then put another repeater down here like that as you can see that's powered and then that will unpower all the rest so i think that's the way we're going to have it and it shouldn't interfere with this redstone much it's not going to lock this hopper as you can see there so if anything is in this minecart and chest then it will go into here this is just what i've been testing it with so let's get all these in place first and then hopefully all we need to do after that is build the flying machine which is actually quite easy i probably need two but Let's get this done first and I'll be back with you guys in a minute. Right ladies and gentlemen, so I think we are done with this now and this is what it's looking like and honestly this is looking really cool. And I've put all everything in now and it should all be working. So what we really need to do is test this. I have tested it in various stages but i haven't tested it all at once which is what i would like to do now so i might as well just wait until all the sugar cane is grown or most of it has grown first and then we can have a test at this i have noticed that these slime blocks are probably going to fling some sugar cane over here and the same over on this side here so maybe we put a wall or something around here so that we can actually collect the sugar cane that gets lost but for now i think i'm just going to leave it like this because this this is taking quite a long time to do and i would really like to just finish it so let's wait until all this sugar cane grows hopefully it shouldn't be too long and give it a proper test all of our sugarcane has grown up now or most of it has grown at least so we can finally test this and see how much sugarcane we're going to get and also how much we're going to lose so all i need to do in theory is flick this lever that should then fly or, well or, or shall i say that should then launch the flying machines and just look at it go ah oh, i love watching this kind of stuff in minecraft it's awesome ah oh, so what should happen is the sugar cane on these leaf blocks should actually f come into um collection mode when they're 
when the flying machine comes back up. Uh, although, having saying that, we are still losing quite a bit, aren't we? Like, we've got a lot of sugarcane over here and on the sides. So maybe adding a few blocks of leave blocks on the side should make that not happen so much. Although... We're still losing a bit over on this far side because of all the sugar cane that's flying off. If we just get our hitboxes up. Oh, yeah, that's quite a lot of sugar cane, isn't it? <laughs> ah, but anyway, that's finished that at least. Um, yeah, this isn't entirely lossless. <laughs> Probably got a few things to sort out, but... Hey ho! Whoa, how much sugar cane is here? Jeez! That's a lot. Let's collect it. Luckily, I'm the only one on the server, so at least I don't think we've got much lag to uh, um, bother people on the server with. So let's collect this stuff anyway. Uh, how much have we got? One, two, almost three stacks of sugar cane. Jeez, man. Let's collect this stuff. Right? Okay, so this isn't entirely lossless, unfortunately. But it's... I'm not really going to complain. All I really need to do is add a wall or something on the far end. And that should be it. Over on this side, it doesn't look like we're losing as much. Uh, so that's not really a problem either. So, what we need to do now is let's see if the collection system is working. I hope it is. Um, there's nothing in there, so it should all be coming in this chest here. And yes, it is. Yep, we got three stacks of sugarcane wasted, but... We've got a lot more than that in this chest so let's wait until all of it comes through this chest and see how much we get right so it looks like all of the sugar cane has come through all of these hoppers and we have over a, t a chest full of sugar cane plus four and whatever i've got in my inventory <laughs> that is a crazy amount of sugar cane for one harvest oh <laughs> that is crazy amounts so we've obviously got a lot more to do one thing that i did forget to mention is this farm is designed and based after a nembon design i think you've probably already seen it before um it is quite an old one but i've adapted it slightly to fit my needs and also i kind of missed out on a block in the middle so Technically, we could have had another stack or half a stack, but I'm not really going to complain. The reason why I've got this here is because of the two flying machines. Um, but it's not really a problem, to be fair with you. It works a treat. And since waiting for all that sugar cane to go in the chests, it looks like we're ready for another harvest. But I'm not going to do that yet because we've still got a bit to do on this farm we've got to make a wall over that side and possibly over this side as well and i probably need to light it up as well but i think i am going to leave that for the next episode because this has taken quite a long time to do so i do apologize about that i do hope you enjoyed this episode though and and if you guys do want a tutorial on how to build this, then put it down in the comments below and I might even make one for you. But with that, I am going to have to love you and leave you. So, thank you very much for watching. My name is Mighty High. If you like this video, then please click the like button. And if you really liked it, then click the subscribe button and ding that bell for further uploads. I've been Mighty High and thank you very much for watching. Good.